Hi, let's smoke some beef short ribs. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode, it's your boy Gabe. And yes, we're smoking beef ribs. Uh, well, beef short ribs. So, it's been a minute since I've smoked beef short ribs. Uh, and I used to smoke the, the really big ones, the really big brontosaurus ribs. But, these are all I found. So let's try them out. So like I said, I've only done these, I think, I've only done these twice? Maybe three times? I think I've done them twice. And like I said, they were the really, really, really big ones. I call them brontosaurus ribs, because it's fun to say. And they were huge. So we're gonna stick to the small ones, but let's get started. So we're gonna open her up. And with these ones, I'm not entirely sure if they have silver skin on them, but they're two. So let's see here. It looks like maybe they do. I'm gonna say that they do. So we are going to figure out how in the world to pull these off. So it looks like there's a little bit. So yeah, we'll take this off. This is so much easier than pork ribs. I'll tell you what, kind of thick. I don't wanna tear it too much off because these don't wanna stay together very well. All right, so I got the silver skin off of these. And judging by how like delicate they are, I'm just gonna leave them on the pans. Cause the last thing I wanna do is smoke these and have to play find the ribs at the bottom of the smoker. So we're just gonna leave them here. They'll still get their nice crust. I'm gonna leave them unwrapped so everything will be okay. And I'll just focus on seasoning the tops. Cause again, we don't really eat the bottoms. So first thing as always is our mustard. Mustard. Score. Dub dub dub, slip slide in the tub. Now, since most of the meat is on top, I'm probably just gonna do the tops of these slash the sides, cause most of the bones are sitting close to the bottom. And so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna season the tops of these. And plus, that's all that's gonna be on the smoker, cause we're not really, again, we're not really eating the bottom. And these are so small that I don't really care. I'm gonna do what I want. So now we're gonna put some pepper on them and I'm actually gonna freehand this. I'm still gonna kind of do the same seasoning rub that I always do, but because I'm just doing the tops and I don't need a whole lot, I'm just gonna freehand this. And plus I can control how much I actually wanna put on this. So I really wanna put pepper cause it is beef and I'm gonna wait to season all of this and then I'll rub it in all at once. Get everything good. Okay. Some salt. Okay. Some garlic. I'm gonna go decent on the garlic, but I don't wanna go too heavy. I actually probably wanna do more, uh, what I'm gonna do here is onion more than anything, okay? Like I said, some onion powder and beef and onion is just kind of something that's meant to be, to be quite honest. And garlic, but mostly onion. You don't hear steak and garlic, you hear steak and onions. Okay, some paprika. And what did we learn class? Wet hand, dry hand. Paying attention yet? There's a trend going on here. I'm gonna make it a trend. So I don't know if any of you are wondering, but the reason I do paprika is one, for color, and two, paprika is kind of sweet in a sense. So it adds a little bit of sweetness, not a lot, not like brown sugar sweetness, but smell of sweetness more than anything. It's more of an aroma than it is a flavor, okay? And lastly, chili powder. Now chili powder is for color and heat. Let's rub in our ribs. And I'm kind of using the leftover seasoning that I have that comes off onto my gloves, sticks to my gloves, and I'll rub that on the bottom. And I'll kind of take whatever seasoning I fell on my pan and rub that around on the bottom as well. But there you have it. There's our beef ribs. I'm gonna clean up. We'll go outside, put these in the smoker, and uh, I'm gonna start with at least two to three hours. And if we need to go longer, we need to go longer. But because these are smaller ribs, I'm gonna start with three, and then we'll kind of work our way up or work our way down after that.
All right, we got our ribs. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Oh yeah. Yay! Now, as you can see, they uh, shrunk a lot because that's there, there's a lot of like intermuscular fat in these, and so some of these aren't going to have a whole lot of meat. Now you can tell which one I did not get the chance to take the membrane off of because you can still see it, which is fine. It's all good. I scored it. That's about the best I could do with that one. But the rest of them, I'll have the membrane off. So the rest of these should be very tender. Let's eat. All right. So this one is kind of falling apart. So we're gonna try this one first. And I'm probably just gonna be able to, yeah, twist and pull. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my. This is really good. Mm. Wow. So I can tell that I missed a little bit of the membrane on this one, but the meat is tender as all gets out. Yeah, all that is fat and, and tendon. Like I said, some of these just didn't have a whole lot of meat on them, but that one came pretty clean. Yeah, some of these I missed the tendon, which is fine, but the meat is very tender and the meat comes off quite cleanly, which is all I care about. Like this is all, that, that's all tendon and fat, so I don't care about that. I mean, it's still, <laughs> I still pulled it off pretty easily, but you know, these are, these are messy. They are very, very good. Yeah, these are a little bit different to work with because they're smaller. And like I said, they, they have a little less, they have a little less meat to them. But man, this meat is, this meat is very tender and very good. Do I have a little bit on my face? So I, I ended up smoking these for about four hours and then basted them with sauce for another hour. So in total, about five hours. These probably could have gone for about six, which is totally fine. They also could have been cleaned up a little bit better, but honestly, not bad. And I think this one right here, I got the tendon off more because I can tell just by the way it's sitting, it's going to fall apart. But actually, just so that we're clear, this one, this one came off a lot easier. Oh yeah, yeah, this one, you can definitely tell what the difference of a uh, lack of a membrane makes. Um, this is proof right here because this is mostly seasoning and that came off pretty cleanly. Now there wasn't a whole lot to it, but there you have it guys, smoked beef short ribs. Um, I'd say pretty solid for someone that's only done them, well, three times now. But um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button next to it, comment down below, tell me what you think, tell me uh, some ideas that you have. And as always, peace out guys.